All right, we're going to chat just a little bit and talk some more about just your voice and your transition. And you started to say off the uh, camera just a moment ago how difficult it is for you to stay down in your lower voice. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us about that. It's once you figure out where your voice is, and you've been using it for so long, it usually tends to, it, that's where your natural voice is going to be. Um, because I have a few people that know me only from before, um, I can only speak to them in uh, my masculine voice. It's really difficult to do that. It, it, it wants to come back up to my natural voice, which is my female voice now. Um, it also puts a lot of stress on it because there is a lot more uh, uh, base to it, so the vibration from that is kind. Of, it it makes your voice really sore. Mm -hmm. it, it it gives you a hoarse feeling, but it, your voice does want to come back up. Mm -hmm. So it's it's hard to stay in that voice. So tell tell us a little bit more about when you before you came for voice therapy. Some of your experience with you you were saying earlier about overshooting the mark and that trying to play around with getting to where you were even before we started. Um, okay, yeah, what I would try and do is I would go into a falsetto, uh, a really high-pitched falsetto. Um, it usually tends to sound like Mickey Mouse, so if anybody is like wondering if that's right, then yeah, that's right. It's right um, for the beginning, it, it is. is right for I the had a gal the other day, he said, well, is Tiny Tim okay? I said, that's a perfect thing. Oh, right. That's right, it's not the end voice, but it's a way to start playing. It's, yeah, it's a way to start figuring out where your vocal, where, where your highest pitch can be, and then it also helps with resonance as well, because you don't feel the resonance in your chest anymore, you feel it in your throat. Mm -hmm. um, but you will, you do the falsetto, there's a way, um, you, you tend to soften it, and it tends to sound like Minnie Mouse. It, it'll go from Mickey Mouse to Minnie Mouse, and even then, you can, your enunciation will start to change, because the um, the different letters, you know, sound different from male to female. Um, but once you get to that point, you can kind of soften it and bring it down slowly, 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 and it'll eventually, you know, find where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So um, it also, it, like I said, it does help with resonance and your enunciation. So, so what are the things that you think about to try? To, I know it's very natural for you now, but what are the things you think about or that you had to think about in order to keep it right where it is because it's just so beautiful? Um, things that I had to think about was. Um, tightness in my throat. I had to. I had to keep an eye on it. Where I was like, okay, it's getting too. It's getting too. Um, too relaxed, and I'm falling too far into um, a deeper voice. And um, one thing that I. One technique that I really did use was kind of I uh, use people, different people as markers. Because I'd use my dad. I would talk to him in a very high pitched voice because he didn't hear the changes in my voice, so I kind of made it noticeable. Um, and then people like at work, like um, like customers, I I tend to do a very um, high pitched feminine voice, you know, so it's it's less threatening, you know, the male voice would mm -hmm. sound a little bit more um, direct. Um, I would use the customers, um, so that really does help keeping you, if you get too low or somewhere. Um, where you notice that your voice is starting to slip, you can bring it right back up to it and then hold it there. So that's one. That's a few things that I thought about when I was starting my transition. Mm -hmm. How about the phone? Uh, do you ever get served on the phone? I never get served on the phone. Um, if anything, I always get mad. I always, always, always get mad. Um, is there anything you do on the phone to make sure that your red is feminine? Um, not necessarily. Same thing I do with my. Same thing with I do with the customers. I do the same thing with over the phone. So mm -hmm. it's like I said, it's a high pitched female feminine voice. Um, kind of, I kind of overshoot it. I kind of make it um, exaggerate it just a little bit mm -hmm. um, because I mean it is dealing with customers and dealing with representatives. So you kind of have um, be like overly friendly. And exactly, polite. overly mm -hmm. friendly. Mm -hmm. So that would usually help. So good, nice um, job.